Miller Lite versus HubSpot. Now, this video is going to be a quick comparison. I'm going to show you basically everything that you need to know about both of these tools. So, if you are thinking about potentially picking one of these up, or maybe switching from one to the other, then this video should help you make an informed decision about which one you should go for. Okay, so the first thing that I want to say is these are two quite different tools. Yes, they both do email marketing, and let me add, they do email marketing very well. However, the foundation or the basis of the tools are very different. So with MailerLite, this is an email marketing autoresponder. That is all it is. Like the main basis of the product is this is a drag and drop email marketing autoresponder and it makes it very easy for you to create and automate your email sequence. Whereas HubSpot, this is a CRM tool. So if we actually take a look at what this does, it does so many different things. It does marketing, sales, customer service, operations. Like it is a vast, vast tool and it does so many things. And email marketing is almost just like an extension of this. So you can see that there are many different, let me just switch this to dollars. You can see that there are so many different things that we can basically buy in HubSpot. So that, that is what I would say. It's like, um, what is that saying? The jack of all trades is a master of none, but better than the master of one. I think that's the saying. But what it basically means is, look, HubSpot does everything, whereas M MailerLite, it specifically niches down on email marketing. So which one is better? Now, I would say that in terms of pure email marketing, MailerLite has the better platform. It's easier to use. And because HubSpot does so many other things, it is a little bit tricky to kind of get around and learn how to use. So that is what I would say. If you don't want to spend like a solid day learning how to use the platform before you can actually use it, you're probably going to struggle with HubSpot because MailerLite is just so much easier to use. And on top of this, like MailerLite as an email marketing platform is absolutely phenomenal. Just like look at some of these templates. It has really, really nice templates. And all you need to do is find a template that you like. And then you can literally just click in and edit it to fit your business. As an email marketing software, like you're probably looking for if you clicked on this video, MailerLite is better, by far. But that also brings us to the pricing, because basically we need to find out which one is cheaper. Now on HubSpot, it doesn't look like we can get a free trial for the email marketing section, which is a little bit annoying. Whereas on MailerLite, they actually have two different types of free trials. So the first one is this free account right here. And this is a free account that you can have up to 1,000 subscribers on. Um, and if you go over 1,000, so like 1,001, 1,002, then you will have to upgrade. But the first 1,000 subscribers you can get for free. And you can also send 12,000 monthly emails all from this account. And you also get like the drag and drop editor, the email automation builder. Everything you need is included in this. So that is absolutely phenomenal. And then secondly, uh, no matter how many subscribers you have, you can actually try out either of these two plans for 30 days for free. So if you want to try one of these out before you buy, MailerLite is the best option to go <laughs> because I don't even think you can do this on HubSpot. So that is what I would recommend. I always like to try out softwares before I use them. So try out MailerLite before you buy it and see if you like. Now, that is cool that MailerLite has a better free trial, but which is actually cheaper? So let's say that we have a pretty small list, but still like a, a decent size of 5,000 contacts. Uh, first of all, actually, which one of these do we need? So you can see that with professional, you get so many, so many things. Like this is a really, really stacked tool if you are going to use it. That's professional. But with the starter, this is very basic email marketing things like form automation, email automation, your editor, forms, like everything that you need is included on this starter plan. That is what I would go for on HubSpot. And then on MailerLite, out of growing business or advanced, once again, you can go with the cheaper plan because advanced, all you get is like Facebook integration, custom HTML editor. You don't really need this when you're first starting off. So as I say, 5,000 subscribers, like look at this. <laughs> the, the price difference is crazy. On HubSpot, you will pay like $240 a month and then MailerLite, $32. This is so expensive for HubSpot. It is so, so expensive. And in my opinion, guys, it is not worth it at all to pay this price for an email marketing tool. No way. Whereas with MailerLite, $32 is really worth it. Like with if you pay for 5,000 contacts, $32 a month, that is really worth it. And that is a fantastic deal. Look, guys, I would say that if you're a big, big company, 
and you don't mind paying thousands and thousands of dollars for a really advanced marketing tool. Because look, when you get to the professional or enterprise plan, the amount of things that it can do, MailerLite can't keep up with. But for me and you, who are just basic email marketers, who, are, who just have a list and we want to make money from the list, they're not really comparable tools because they're used for different things. Because this starter plan on HubSpot is just never worth it. Whereas if you're a big business and you have the budget to spend thousands of dollars, then professional and enterprise is worth it, but it's just, it's still so expensive. And in my opinion, MailerLite is by far the winner because it's just so much cheaper. And for the basic plans, it's actually a better platform. So that is MailerLite versus HubSpot. Now, if you learned something from this video or you found it valuable in some way, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.